Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong, and I'm going to do an energy reading for the month of March. I already shuffled up all the decks, and we're going to just be choosing. I have four decks out here, so I'm just going to be picking cards from each one to see what's in store for us this month of March. I'm Linda Armstrong. If you don't already know me, I am an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And I like to help people to raise their vibe, releasing programs, patterns, energies to past experience, to who knows what from other lifetimes that are holding you back and stopping you from owning the truth of your being. And that is that you are an amazing creator. That's what you are. That's what I am. That's what we are. If we could only just let all this other nonsense stop getting in the way. So let's see what these cards are going to tell us for the month of March. Um, I know for me, I had a couple of really funky days. I mean, oh God, so much energy, negative energy, lower emotions were triggered. And I had to clear the way, clear what was coming up for me and, you know, move back to who I really am, right? <laughs> um, and being able to then be in that space and that energy to tap into all of the possibilities that are available. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to go to my all-time favorite deck. This is called um, the Energy Oracle. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I just love this deck. So I already shuffled it up. We're going to see what comes out. And we have adjacent possibilities, but it's in the reverse position. So let's see what that's all about. Um, the reverse cards are interesting. You know, some people automatically think that it's a negative because it's upside down, but sometimes those, those are just the most dead on um, descriptions of the energies that are coming up for you that are shifting and changing into something really great. So let's see what this one says for um, the, the reverse. So it's the cards about unconsidered possibilities. And this one in reverse says that the adjacent possibilities card is warning you to be careful not to miss an unknown opportunity because you're too married to your agenda. So that goes, I mean, that goes right to how we close ourselves off from all these possibilities because we're only operating based on what our mind has or is able to see and perceive. Um, and it's all based on old programs. Uh, a lot of it that is not supportive for you. So we want to break out of that, right? Uh, let's see what else this card says about that. Um, it's also asking you to turn inward with the willingness to shake up your old unhealthy patterns and habits. The power of your life force moves through your deeply held habits, protecting projecting your energy out into the universe and calling back your results. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Um, you know, when we're stuck in what we already know and trying to figure it out with our minds, we're really just trying to figure something out with this old programming that is not bringing you the results that you want. That's why we want to clear those energies out. Um, so let's do a clearing for that. So anything that that is, that this brings up for you, these old programs that are holding you back. Can we just uncreate and destroy all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's the access consciousness clearing statement. I might do that quite a bit through this um, reading. We'll see what comes up. I might do other clearings as well. Um, but you can go to access consciousness or just look up the clearing statement.com and you can get a description of what that phrase means because it's really doing a lot of work with one little phrase and you can do it for yourself. It's so easy. Okay, so let's continue with this card. It says, uh, so it's talking about holding yourself back because you're only calling forth the same results based on that same programming that you're kind of married to because you didn't know you could release it. Um, so it says, in, the, in this way, your ongoing thoughts and beliefs are really your defining moments. And in every moment, you have another energetic choice. Yes, we can choose something new at any moment. So it's time to decide. Are you going to let worry and self-doubt define you? Or are you going to step into the ever-present adjacent possibilities of optimism, trust, self-love? No matter how stuck you feel, you always have options in the thousands of choices you make every day. 
That's a very powerful card and it is so, so, so true. And that's why I love the work that I do because really we can all shift out of and, and break these patterns and release the energy that keeps repeating and playing out the same old stories over and over again. You got these things that just keep repeating throughout your life that are not serving you. Well, you know, let's just blow them out. Let's get rid of those energies and open to the many possibilities. So that's a great card. I like that. Let's see. Let's go to, let's go to Trust Your Vibes. Sony Choquette deck. Okay, I already shuffled it up. Let's pick a card. Sound check. All right, let's see what sound check has to say. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. So let me see. Sound check says, the more you pay attention to the energy around you, the quicker you activate your clear audience, the ability to tune into your higher self angels and guides. With this awakening, however, comes more responsibility. As a newly developing sixth sensory being, that means really tapping into your intuition, that other sense of yours, just as your sensitivity levels are rising to intercept higher soul supporting frequencies, so too is your sensitivity to negative soul de debilitating vibrations. Consequently, you ex you consequently excessive exposure to dissonant and noisy vibrations will leave you feeling drained and irritable. And I'm sure you've all experienced that be before. It's like you come around, you might be in this great vibe, right? But you come around something and your awareness is open enough to be able to perceive it and sense it, but you're not totally maybe in present time and that energy comes into your space. So you're picking up, a lot of times as you become more, I don't know what this card is gonna continue to say, but. A lot of times as you are awakening and you're expanding your consciousness, you're also expanding that openness and that ability to sense and perceive energy. And you can very easily take on these other energies. So a good question to ask yourself when, when you're suddenly feeling not you out of nowhere and you're like, oh my God, you have to ask yourself, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? And if you say it a few times, you notice you start to feel a little bit lighter because you realize it's not yours. So then you just send it back to wherever it came from with consciousness. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. Um, and I like it because you don't have to kind of, you don't have to dissect where the energy came from, what it is. We don't have to know whose it is. We just have to acknowledge, feel for ourselves. Oh, right. It's not mine. So you can just release it just by even just saying, who's, who's, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Um, so anyway, it says your angels and helper guides are advising you to surround yourself with the most harmonious sounds and vibrations possible. Those that communicate love, gentle acceptance and harmony to keep your energy in balance. Yeah. Be especially mindful of what you listen to day to day. Step away from the enervating noise the minute you hear it. So sometimes that's even coming into a conversation. It could be a bunch of friends, family members, and you could feel the energy of that conversation. So sometimes you can't just remove yourself from that. So what I like to do is I just call more light to myself. I just fill myself with light, make this beautiful bubble of light around me and choose not to take on the energy of the conversation that's taking place right now. You'll be surprised how quick and easy that works. And then when you have that awareness that it's going on, you don't three hours later have this like feel this negative drain on you and this heavy energy and realize where the heck did that come from? Then you got to think back. Oh, oh yeah, we went to visit so and so and we were talking about blah blah blah. Do it at the you know be be more in that present time when you feel and you sense these energies. This one's talking about clear audience. So like well, yeah okay so we're hearing as well as feeling whatever it is that's going on around us that could really um, trigger you. Trigger you for your own stuff as well as taking on other people's energy. So it's kind of tricky. You know, you want to... So that's what this is all about. Really awakening, opening up your awareness to know and sense and feel and navigate all of the energies that you be and that are around you because everything is energy. So it says... 
Okay, so this means you might need to turn off violent TV programs, avoid negative talk radio, shun gossip, and refrain from criticism. Be sensitive to your spirit's needs for sweet vibrations. Your spirit is delicate and vulnerable, but not weak, and it thrives in the best vibrations and harmony and tranquility. Listen to the message and its good sound. So, yeah, that's pretty important, you know, because really, as all this energy is changing on the planet and planet's going through its own vibrational shift, um, we want to be able to hold that higher vibration because the, the planet's shifting into a higher vibration. And we have to also shift into that higher vibration for this whole big ascension and awakening that's going on. So that's why you... It, it, when you, The hard part is that when you start opening that awareness and you're aware of so much more, it's kind of a little tricky. That's why it's a bit of this roller coaster because you also start taking on more of that if you don't pay attention to and sense and know the energies as they come so you can keep clearing them. And for sure, for sure, for sure, if it's not me, find an energy healer that you can work with. That will help you with a lot. I mean, you can it's so much. And uh, I would also say get your bars from access bars. Um, okay, let's move to. So I do that, but I can only do it in person. And you were supposed to only do it with people in person, not virtually. So you would want to find someone in your area to do that. Uh, let's go to. Okay, I'm going to go to this this little sweet little deck. Here we go. Vibrational energy. Um, this has like a really short paragraph about the, oh, I already shuffled, I'll have to shuffle again, about the card, and it gets so much across in this tiny little paragraph. So let's see what we have to go along with uh, adjacent possibilities, sound check. Again, I think it's really, really talking about us becoming more aware of ourselves as energy. And as you do that, you can open up to, I would say, consciously open up to more of what you desire, right? So you're not holding other people's desires. You're opening and seeing what it is that you desire. And when you do that and you start to drop away all this external stuff that's talking to you, even that subconscious mind, so that you can see or be open to those possibilities I want to drop in because the universe wants to send it to you, right? You just need to allow it to come in. And the way you allow that, living in that higher vibration, you're more of a match to that energy, actually making it into your field, right? Because now we're open. Um, there's really a lot more to that, but that's all I'll say for now. <laughs> all right, this card, huh? two faces of mankind. I really don't recall this card. I don't know what this one's going to say. So let's see. Two faces of mankind. And we get... Da, da, da. Ah. Okay, where there is a feminine, there is a masculine. A negative needs a positive and vice versa. You cannot create a harmonic vibration without first acknowledging and accepting balance of yin and yang in your life. It's the law of vibration and energy, which is ever evolving. Wow. I mean, I think so far this reading is really talking about opening and sensing energy. Knowing yourself as an energetic being first and foremost. And with that knowledge and awareness, you have, it's like you have so many more tools in your tool belt to work with. To hold your vibration high. You know, like one thing you can do is helping me a lot lately is just keep asking questions to the universe. Just keep asking questions. Even if it's a simple, basic question that access consciousness teaches, which is, how does it get any better than this? Or rather something bad happens, something good happens, anything. How does it get any better than this? So then the universe can show you how it gets better than that. <laughs> better than the good stuff and better than the bad stuff. Because it can always get better, 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 better. Um, because we are creators. Got to keep saying that. Some people don't really get it. Um, all right, so the masculine and feminine, because um, the feminine is very receptive, right? And the masculine 
I mean, I used to hold so much more of that masculine energy. I managed to balance myself off. You now people took me much stronger than I ever intended, that I didn't intend, but that's how they felt my energy because I really held so much more of that kind of energy. Um, and sometimes that that stronger energy is more of a forceful energy, right? So you might be pushing to get things done, pushing, 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 which is if you feel it in your body, can be heavy. And when you're constantly pushing things in, in as far as we're talking about like manifesting things, and we think we have to do this, we have to do that, we look outside ourselves to how other people have done things, and we push, 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 it doesn't leave us any space for receiving, right? That softer, gentler, more open energy. So you want to find that balance between doing and receiving, um, because wouldn't you rather have the, a really high energy of excitement that is moving forward those things you are creating in your life rather than pushing hard to make it happen? Two different energies. Excitement, creating through joy, enthusiasm, um, being able to have that peaceful energy as you're moving rather than this heavy, pushing, forceful energy, because that's not going to do it for you. you got to find that balance. So that's the way I'm taking that. Uh, maybe it means something different to you. Trust always what you feel. Possibly when I first read that, it sparked something within you. Then I started talking about all this stuff. And you're like, oh, maybe I, no, maybe I got it wrong. No. Whatever you got from the... That's why I read the words from the book. Whatever you get from what I'm reading, that's your answer. That's what it means to you. It's always an internal job. you got to feel what feels right with you. And uh, I love the message I always get from my guides, um, which is there's no right way. Find your own way and keep it simple. You know, that mind will start to complicate things, over, overthink, overcomplicate. Simple is better. Okay, this one says, oh, begin to explore. Hmm. Hey. Well, I'll read the deck because the way I'm taking it is, um, I gotta find it. She didn't put her numbers on. Begin to explore the truth of who you are, you know, allowing yourself to step more into this greatness of who you are. Let me find the page here, page four. Um, and, and actually, maybe it goes right to what I just said with uh, there's no right way, find your own way. So it's about really um, finding what is your truth. And remember, a truth will always make you feel lighter. If it's not true, false, it'll feel heavier. And you can feel and sense this with your body, with the energy of who you are and this tool of the body that we live in, um, spirit and the body, right? So you work together and really, you know, maybe that's a question you can ask. Is this true for me? And then see what you feel, right? So let's go to this. I'm going to read this. Begin to explore. Let's see what she's talking about. So it's, for me, it's exploring your truth, which is that you are consciousness, that everything, this book has consciousness. Everything has consciousness. My camera has consciousness. <laughs> my house has consciousness. Uh, I, I'm actually talking to my house because I may be moving at some point and I'm asking the house to start putting its finders out to find the perfect people who would love to live in this house. And at the same time, sending my energy out to that next perfect house for me. So you can do that kind of thing because of your energy. So this one says, uh, what was it? Begin to explore. Are you feeling more curious than usual? Are you suddenly desirous of a grander, more creative, more sensual life than the one you have now? See, that's all, that's awakening, right? Uh, would you like to rebel against what's kept you suppressed for what seems like forever? If so, be glad. Your divine energy is reigniting the seeds of light and creativity in your true being. This sudden longing for a more expanded life is your soul's way of leading you away from submission to a to a fearful ego and back to your true joyful spirit rather than fight these crazy impulses 
follow them, even if they make no sense and have no specific direction. So that's really what, what I've been kind of talking about here is trusting, you know what's best for you. You have this ability to know and to sense energy all around you and to feel what things are for your highest good, right? And maybe it's as simple as, is this true for me? Is this right for me? Ask the questions, let the universe answer it. But your body will let you know. If something, you have to say you have to make a choice between two things. Well, look at this one, feel how this one feels to you. Then look at this one and feel how that one feels and make your decision based on that. You, you wanna start really trusting your own knowing. Okay, so it says your divine energy is calling you to expand, embrace, and explore new horizons. Adjacent possibilities. Um, it is directing you to trust these restless impulses and try something completely out of the ordinary. Allow yourself to be open and free. You know, that might hit home for a lot of people with relationships. Sometimes you really close yourself off based on past experience, past hurts. It's all in the past. You can clear any energy that might have you keep repeating those same patterns. That's what us energy healers are here for. Um, and, and open yourself up. Have yourself be that open, creative, expansive energy that you are and explore those adjacent possibilities. Okay, so it says your divine invitation. Free your spirit and take your chances. Do things you have longed to do but have been afraid of trying. Accept the invitations coming your way. New and compelling opportunities that will show up. Doors will open. Say yes and enter the unknown. It's okay to proceed gently and with caution, but do move forward now. The universe is urging you to be freer than you've ever allowed yourself to be. You are safe. There is nothing to fear. So once you start really trusting yourself, the answers will be easy. Things will just show up magically even because we are magic. You know, you can just look at one and two and three and four year old kids and see the magic that they see because we are that just in grown up bodies now, right? With so much crap piled up on top of us that prevents us from being that magic where things just happen. So I'd say play with that for this month of March, really allowing yourself to expand, balancing that female and male energy, going within, feeling and sensing what's right for you, asking a lot of questions of the universe and um, yeah, also having that awareness to notice, notice even the littlest things that come in, you know, and like, whoa, oh, that was interesting. Oh, that was interesting. And the more you acknowledge them and open to that, the more it's going to come because now you are open to receive it, right? You're letting that female energy part of you, that receiving part of you call, call in and receive what really wants to come to you. So I like doing these messages because I need to hear every single one of these words that were just, just came through through these cards as well. And in fact, um, it's a perfect reading after the couple of days I had where I was so disconnected and I had all this, but it's, it's actually a good thing because there were a lot of things that came up that called to my attention what needed to be cleared. Uh, so that I can move forward and be the energy of who I am and do all the creating I want to do. So that's it. Be the creator you are. Um, oh. So anything that doesn't allow you to open your awareness and sense and feel and know yourself as your truth, as the energy that you are and all the ability that you have to draw to you those things that are of your desires, anything that prevents that from happening, can we just uncreate and destroy all of that times a godzillion right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds yeah that's a good clearing okay i'll leave with that please like share uh, comment subscribe and i'll see you on another video bye